Hey y'all, it's me Austin here from uh, Arson Productions here. Now I'm actually going to be doing a flight test as promised of the Hoopson, or not the Hoopson, but the C-Max 11. Sorry about that. Let me make sure it's recording. And this is available in 4K, so I think I'm the... Actually, I saw one user on YouTube that were filmed this quadcopter in 4K. So I'm also the second person that's actually been doing this in 4K. So, uh, anyways, this is giving me the flight test of the Steam X11. That's how those beautiful LEDs. So, here we go. Let's see, let's, uh, what we're going to do is some funnels here. The yellow does not change even on the. Oh. My bad. God dang it. I need to stop. I guess we can't do that. I got confused between the, uh, the orientation. And it does do 360 flips with that computer on board, so. Oh, I don't want to set the plane ceiling fan. That would not be good. I'll have to flash on so you guys can see it. Because my camera doesn't that really good at night. And my phone does not really do very good at night. Oh god yeah, I got confused. Alright. Almost hovers in one spot. Just a little bit drifting in the air. Overall, I really, really prefer this over the Hoops on X4 because uh, when I had that thing and I had to send it back, unfortunately, it didn't seem to have, you know, the, the flight controls were too sophisticated. So I wanted to try the Steam X11 to see if it has a little bit different controls, and indeed it does. And there's no special settings you have to change in. I just couldn't get used to the, uh, the X4's uh, control system. Now, the reason why they have gear props is to make it more quieter. That's why they have gear props on this, uh, on this, uh, on this quadcopter. It does have a unique sound, which you guys can see. Or you guys can hear. Let's do some more flips. If I just get a perfect angle. Let's take a little bit of while for it to recover from flips, but overall it's pretty clean flips. We're actually going to try that again. Let me see if I can get in a frame. Nice clean flips. Apparently, the uh, I was gonna get the ele the X11C, but I wanted to get something. Oh god, I wanted to get something a little bit different. I wanted to get something a little bit different um, with that. Well, this is probably going to drain my battery in my phone because I'm not even flash on, but it's fine. Now, I am planning on buying a 500 milliamp hour single cell lipo since it does have, uh, since it does have that, uh, since it does uh, allow it to fly for 13 minutes. The only problem about that is that it really decreases the lifespan of the motors. The motors are not 
I'm not allowed to, but to see the amount of flight times of 13 minutes. Um, I could try it, but I don't think it's gonna, I don't really wanna do that, to be honest. Alright, let's get a... Let's do the guys, uh, I'm gonna let it be in frame here. <laughs> the pulse are so fun. Just, uh, you, you see, you can't do this with a helicopter. And it's very quiet. It's a little bit loud, but it's okay. It doesn't create too much noise where it's going to be a big deal. But that's why those gear props are there to uh, make it more quieter. Yeah, for the money, guys, you guys should really definitely buy this. Uh, even though this particular model is going to discontinue with updated models. But uh, go ahead and buy yours while you, while you still can. Um, I got was the last of you to receive this on Amazon, and I think you don't have any more. But you don't have you don't have any more of the red ones. Now this thing does have a 10, 10 uh, LC or has a ten or a ten second LVC warning, so it's it'll let you know when your battery is about to die. Oh god. Oh god. Kinda of sounds like a mosquito in a way. I'm actually gonna burn the entire battery out just for the just for the heck of it. Oh god. Yeah, I think the battery's about to die, I'm not sure. That fan is starting to prevent it from going from going up a little bit. Alright, there's the LBC warning. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Crash landing.